Hi, this is Nancy from Nancy's Garden Soap Co. And tonight I'm going to be making a cold process soap using a uh, white base. Uh, it's coconut lime verbena is the fragrance. And I'm going to be using these two greens plus a black and a white <clears throat> to make a white soap, hopefully with a, uh, a, a interesting detail down the middle. So I have my mixture of oils here. Um, they're, I just had to remelt them a little bit, 98 degrees. And I'm going to be adding in my, um, my, my water, my lye water over here. Let's see if we can do this. And there, and we'll pour in our lye water. Let me check the angle. We think, we think we're good. This has um, a little bit of sea salt and tuss of silk in it. I'm going to put that in the sink. Keep us nice and safe. All right, and the lye water I think was about at 120 degrees. I think it'll do a little bit of a heat transfer there. is at a very light trace and I need to add in um, oops, the other one. let me add in my fragrance oil mixture I have um, the titanium dioxide already mixed up that's here I mix this with water it's water soluble I'll be adding that in um, to the mix the soap in just a minute. Um, I have some black that I pre-mixed. This is activated charcoal and I mixed it with castor oil and then a little bit of the oils from here. You can see that it's pretty thick so I'm not sure if I'll need all of this or not. And you saw the two greens and we're going to do be doing a pattern of uh, <clears throat> the white soap then black, light green, dark green, light green, black. That will be the pattern for the and then white again. And then I'm hoping to do something fun on the top. So maybe stick blend this another minute. <laughs> this out a little bit before it starts seizing up on me. So I'm going to put some in here. I only need three colors. Well, I need the white, but the white will go in the pot. I think that one's going to be my light green, and this one here will be my black. dark green, just a smidgen of dark green, put in here, and the white's going in this pot. <clears throat> out of the way and get this here get my green in this is my dark green first time I'm using these little cups not quite sure I like them too many little nooks and crannies in there 
but they are disposable, so that's good. There's the green. I'm happy with that. It's a good green. That's what I was looking for. And we have black. Just do a glob of that. <coughs> And I think that's going to be black enough. What do you think? It's pretty dark. And the light green, I want it to be very pale. I, think I might need another spatula for this. I always get amazed at how fast you have to work when you're doing, when you're soaping. If you're going to do something special to the colors. Um, Alright. Well, I think that's going to work just nice. Very nice. All right, we gotta start pouring this baby. I'll get the mold. See if you can see it. I think you can. The white's really thick. white down first like that and then I'm going to add a line of black down the middle black and then we're going to put um, a line of green after that I think the last time I did this I used squirt bottles and it worked a little bit better to get the colors right on top of each other I like that Bright green, I just want a little bit of this for a pop of color. Good, and then we go back to the light green. I'm going to pour a little bit of my white. Before I do my black. Filling in some of the sides. So it doesn't spread too much out of control. And then a little light of black again. I'm going to have to tap this soap down, I think, because it's getting really thick. Okay, and I'm going to add the white on top. Like 
so. Grab my swirling tool, also known as a hanger. And I'm going to go down one side and around. Down and around through the middle. And we'll try that. Clean that off. And I'm going to smooth out the top and then get my glove back on. And I think we'll pipe something on the top. Okay? Because it's interesting. And I want you to be interested. All um, right. It took what was left of the black and I put it in with some more of the white that was left over, added more of the black coloring, stuck it in a Ziploc bag. I took the remaining green, added more white to it to make a paler green and put it in a Ziploc bag. And now I'm taking the, uh, the rest of this white and I'm mixing it with this green here and I'll put that in a Ziploc bag. You see it's getting nice and thick and that way I'll be able to make a design on the top using these but I figured I could show you one of them um, watching somebody load up bags Ziploc bags is kind of boring um, and we wouldn't want boring so, well we wouldn't want anything more boring than what you already have to suffer through watching my videos so um, here we go mix this up it should still be a nice bright green I think compared to the other one and uh, I have an idea that I'd like to try on the top. Let's see a few lumps in there, but I think this will work. All right, try to load it up. Okay, got the bag. Put this in. You can also stick the bag inside a another container. <clears throat> I'm just being lazy. Maybe you can do it some dots way. going di diagonally down. And we'll get the end of it right there. Let's see if that works. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut a little snip here. Let's see how this comes out. I like to practice ahead of time. A little bit not round enough for me so let's go the sideways okay that's nice and round that's the kind of roundness I'm looking for <clears throat> if I can get down into this little corner here put one little round blob there <clears throat> then I'm gonna do tiny, <clears throat> tiny black bobs <clears throat> sorry about the throat clearing I think I need to drink a little bit more water Right. One, two, three, four, dark green, one, two, three, four, Five, black, one, two, this one's kind of thick, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to go dark green again, one, two, See if we can see the pattern developing here. Let's keep going before this all solidifies on me. I think you get the idea. <clears throat> I'm going uh,
light green, dark green, black, dark green. I almost messed up. Light green. <clears throat> and repeat. This is light green, dark green. Black. Oop, get the thumb in it. It's a labor of love. Three, four, about five across each one. I'm going to wash my hands, get some uh, new gloves on, spray the top with this, and use up some of my uh, leftover soap for making some samples. And I'll come back tomorrow when I'm ready to cut it. Thanks. Well, here the soap is out of the mold. It's uh, noon the next day, and I think it came out really nicely. This side here had some holes in the sides from air bubbles, but um, I filled them in, and I think we'll be okay. This side I swirled a little bit. That's where I ran out. So I'm going to start down here, line her up. How am I doing, cameraman? i got a cameraman today. And let's try that. Wow. That looks cool right there. <clears throat> All right, let's see, we got an end little piece here. Am I end screen? Good. That's all right. There we go, some swirls there. It's cool, the sand again is coconut lime verbena. Let's do the other half. I'm going to move it back. Watch out for that last piece. One. This looks like something. I don't know what. I think next time I do this, I'm going to use a, um, a, a squeeze bottle like I did before to get more delicate lines. All right, last two. There you have it, this is one of the end pieces. Smells great, and uh, I think that's about it. I think they look halfway decent. Can you see them? Yeah. All right, thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of our videos from Nancy's Garden Soap Co. Thanks for your time, bye.